Hello viewers, we have the PDF of the binomial distribution and we want to find the moment generative function of this distribution using the value of the moment generative function to find the mean and also the variance. Now we have the moment generating function mx of t to be the expectation of t of e to the power of tx. Now which can be written as submission e to the power of tx times the pdf of the distribution. This is the general rule for the moment generative function. Now using this rule, here we have the summation e to the power of tx times the pdf of the binomial distribution, which is n combination x, p to the power of x, 1 minus p to the power of n minus x. Now, to simplify this further, looking at this, um, e to the power of x and um, also p to the power of x, they are having the same power. So these two can be combined together as summation p e to the power of t all to the power of x. Then combination x and also 1 minus p to the power of n minus x. Now, looking at this, let me quickly take you through this general rule of um, binomial distribution. Recall. I want you to recall that if you have a plus b to the power of n, this can be written as n combination i, a to the power of i, b to the power of n minus i okay now using the same rule for this okay now what is going to be my a and what is going to be my b so you can see that from here using this general rule sorry this has the summation sign this is going to be my a is going to be p e to the power of t and my b is going to be 1 minus p all to the power of n. So this is the general rule that I'm going to use. Now we can say that this is the MGF of the binomial distribution. Now from here, we want to find the mean. How do you get the mean? The mean is very easy. To get the mean using the MGF, what you just need to do is to find the first derivative of the MGF, okay? And you set your T to be equals to zero. So that is the rule. And how do we find the mean? Now, we want to find the first derivative of this function. So the M prime X of T, just using the normal basic um, differentiation of functions of a function, then we can have N if you if you differentiate this, okay, we have this to be p e to the power of t. So we have the function in the parentheses written back 1 minus p to the power of n minus 1. And here you set your t to be 0. That is, anywhere you see t, use 0. So if you use that, here we have np because e to the power of t e to the power of t is going to be 1, which is the same thing as e to the power of 0. Here also we have e to the power of t to be 1, okay? So here we have this to be p plus 1 minus p, n minus 1. Okay, now here we have p minus p cancelling out. So here we have n p 1 to the power of n minus 1, which is the same thing as n p. This is the main of a binomial distribution. Now, let's proceed by calculating the variance, which is the c. So the variance of the distribution is expectation of what? x squared minus 
expectation of x all squared. And here, using the same thing, for you to calculate your expectation of x squared, this is going to be the second derivative, okay, of the MGF, that is your second moment. Now, what you just need to do is that the m prime of x of t is going to be differentiated twice. So by differentiating that, you can use a um, product rule to differentiate that. Yeah, this is going to be v. This is going to be v. Okay. Now, using product rule, we have u. You can use u dv dx plus v du dx to differentiate. Here we have n p e to the power of t. Okay. Multiply. That is my what? That is my u. My dv dx is going to be n minus 1 p e to the power of t. Okay. p e to the power of t plus 1 minus p n minus 2. Okay. This is um, what I did here is u dv dx plus v. What is my v? v is p e to the power of t plus 1 minus p, okay, n minus 1. du dx is still going to be n p e to the power of t. Don't forget, set t to be 0. So what I did here is v du dx, okay, which is just the product rule. Now, when you set t to be 0, anywhere you see t here, here is going to be 1, 1, 1. This is also going to be 1, and also this is going to be 1. So now we have np n minus 1 p. Okay? Now, looking at this, this is p plus 1 minus p which is going to be what? Which is going to be 1 to the power of n minus 2, which is still going to be 1. So here, I am having my n p. Why? Because this also is going to be 1. Everything is going to be 1. So we are left with n p e to the power of c. Okay? This is the second moment. Now, my variance of x, which is the second moment minus the first moment squared. And here I'm going to have np n minus 1 p plus np minus the first moment. What is the first moment? np. So we're going to square this np squared. Now let's bring out the parentheses. Here I'm going to have n squared p squared minus n p squared plus n p minus n squared p squared. This is this. And this is this. Okay? Now cancelling out n squared p squared can cancel out n squared p squared. So here I'm going to be having np minus np squared. Let's factor out np. So we're going to be left with 1 minus p. So this is the variance of x for binomial distribution. Or conclusively, you can say npq, where q equals to what? 1 minus p. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.